And welcome back to NBA 2K21, my NBA association, I guess is what it's called now. Uh, we are here, first game of the series, finally, after multiple series would uh, files would corrupt. And this one actually did corrupt, but I got it back, or whatever. I think I figured out the issue with it. I think the issue is using... An external drive for my PS4 games while I'm playing PS5 games. I think that's the issue. I'm not 100% sure, but I was able to get the file back fine. So, yeah, that's good going forward. Also, first bucket um, scored by Harry Giles of the series. That'll be a trivia question. Won't be a trivia question, but, but you know, maybe for future trivia. So, uh, taking on the Pistons here, and we get a nice deep three from Evan Fournier then D Rose pulls for three here they don't score anything here because uh I think I was playing on like the default like sliders which is like our default difficulty which is like set on pro or something like that and uh yeah and at this point my when I recorded this my theory on why files were corrupting were that if you edit sliders mid-game it would corrupt the, f the file um, it's just th one of those weird you know troubleshooting theories as we hit a nice three here from Otto Porter that was my theory at the time was that that would corrupt the file um, clearly it wasn't because I didn't touch sliders at all during mid game um, for the two games that I had recorded for here and the file got corrupted anyways the only thing that cause that I think caused it was like I said having an external drive with my PS4 games um, was causing that so here's this sequence we'll get into the actual game where we just uh, trade rebounds and sh that's not good for the shot per field goal percentage at all but good for rebounding numbers uh, right there so that was a nice little sequence we tried to get a corner three with Wes Matthews couldn't get it here's Blake Griffin I take a terrible angle to get the block and Griffin slams one down. So it's 19 to 4. Uh, we're smacking them around a bit here. Then make it 25 to 8 at this point in the game. Tony Snell. I love that meme uh, where it's like Tony Snell and it's like 0, 0, 0, 0. That's the player Tony Snell is. Sometimes he'll play good D and, you know, hit outside shots like that. And other times he's just terrible and gives you nothing. There's really no in-between with Tony Snell. You're either getting some good or bad, and that's really it. Um, here's Otto Porter, playing pretty good at this point. Um, has a weak matchup, I believe Luke Kennard is on him. Uh, you know, this Pistons team is not very good, in my opinion. Uh, just not ideal. So we get a run. We run a really nice play here for Fournier. Don't Google that name. And uh, he hits that three. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about here is the court looks like garbage. And my theory on why the court looks like garbage is that's a nice dunk from Otto Porter. Ran a really nice play there, able to free him up and get a free look at the basket. My theory is that the actual resolution size for the court is bigger now. And the actual textures for the court stayed the same size that it was on last gen. So it's... I don't know. Like, in the normal part of the court it looks fine but inside the key or actually the outside of the court where McConnell's standing it looks all weird it looks like it's like it's made the, like it's made everything really small so you get like really you get like the texture repeating over and over and over again but inside the key looks fine actually it looks like how it should look so I don't know what's going on with that uh, they'll probably fix that by in like January as uh, we're, I haven't spent too much time talking about the gameplay here. Sorry. Um, here we are, 41-22, but that'll probably get fixed like in January after they fix whatever issues they have in the city, I think it's called. I don't know. Uh, here we go. We get a nice mismatch there on Derrick Rose. I believe I got that earlier in the game. I, when I was editing this, I was like, oh, I'm going to talk about this and talk about it again here. But that's my first time mentioning it. But yeah, they kept switching... Uh, Giles, or they kept switching rows on the Harry G G uh, Giles. Is it Giles or Giles? I think it's Giles. Um, 
he had a really good game here, actually. He, I believe he scored over 20 points. Uh, had a really good game for us. Played some good defense. And yeah, I think this was actually a perfect sort of matchup for us here for our first game against a rather meek Detroit Pistons team as we're blowing them out. I mean, we are just giving it to them. Part of that is because, it's like I said, it's probably on pro. Um, so, I'm going to have to fix that. Um, I'm actually, I'm not as good at, at, at 2K as I used to be. I used to be able to play on, like, Superstar pretty well, but, like, I don't know, ever since they changed how they did difficulty and sliders, I, it's sort of just been tough to get it tuned into where it's enjoyable. Um, I know the Pop Boy does have some, like, slider sets where it's, like, it's on pro, and it actually will actually get some good games out of it, so I might try one of his slider sets. Um, but so far, I've had a lot of issues with this mode. Files getting corrupted, things like that. And so we're going to find Fournier here, hit a three. So it felt nice to finally get in here, play a game, and sort of just have some fun with this. Because the game actually does feel a lot better than last gen uh, 2K. Uh, feels smoother, the same way like NBA 2K14 on PS4 felt smoother than NBA 2K14 on PS3 as Harry Giles gets the and one opportunity on Thon Maker, who's likely three to four years older than what he says he is, as he makes a free throw. We actually got him in TakeOver, but uh, never really got to use it. We get some trophies as we defeat the Detroit Pistons 76 to 35. A one-sided beat down 41 points not going to be a very good season for the Detroit Pistons that's for sure so Harry Giles 26 points 8 rebounds 11 of 15 I like the way they redid this actually uh, gives you the really important stats and then the highlights next are a little bit bigger um, so everyone who played score except TJ McConnell who's just so slow he's not he's not going to score at all at least when I'm using him um, but he had 12 assists and 3 rebounds and 3 steals. So that was really nice. And then Blake Griffin led the way for the Pistons with 12 points and 3 rebounds. But 4 for 10 from the field. D. Rose, 7 points but 3 of 10. You know it's not good when Tony Snell is your third leading scorer. And all these other guys didn't score at all. Just uh, a very poor game from them. So we're going to simulate here. The sim engine is really fast this year, I've noticed. Um, like, it's quick. It's really, really quick, I've noticed. So we're going to simulate here all the way to December 14th. We're going to take on LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. And uh, they have Rondo, Caruso, but then they have LeBron and AD. And then I was going to show off my third uniform here, but... Once again, it is glitched out again. <laughs> this is something that they just can't seem to figure out. Um, getting that third uniform for these expansion teams to work. I, I don't know why. It's been an issue for like at least, I want to say three games now. So they really should look at fixing that. So I'll still have it. I have to reload the whole team. So I want to thank you guys for watching this. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys next time for more NBA 2K21, my NBA. So, yeah, do all that, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.